Okay, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it might be for you, and welcome to a Project Zomboid playthrough. Episode 1, the introduction to Perry Hankin. Go through some admin things, this is the only episode we're going to do this for. Just to let you know, we're playing on completely vanilla survival mode, no mods. I've got about 100 hours in the game, so feel free to leave your constructive comments below on what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong, what I should do. But bear in mind, I've probably recorded four, five, six, seven, eight episodes before even posting the first one, so I can't go back and change anything. And I'll quickly unpause the game to show you how we've set Perry up. Before we get into it fully, try and be immersive and we won't repeat any of this again going forward, not much anyway. So let's look at Perry Hankin, who is, or was, before the apocalypse, a lumberjack. There he is. He's got high thirst. He likes to eat, smoker, short-sighted, so we need to get that sorted. Cigarettes, lighters, matches, glasses, lots of food, lots of water. But he is an axe man with cat's eyes inconspicuous he's lucky he's got the luck of the irish with him he's a brawler and he's brave so he's stout at the end of the day he was a lumberjack dangerous job we're in muldra we've spawned in this is literally the first minute of it so welcome let me introduce you to perry hankin and this is how he died so in my hundred hours of playing, I know Muldra quite well. And as it goes, I haven't had a lot of bases in Zomboid. But this has been one of them. So yeah, get your scripted comments below. Couldn't have picked a better spawn, because I know this area, this, this neighborhood well. Perry is down to the basics. Jeans, beanie, belt, denim shirt, t-shirt, sneakers, socks, and a key ring. That's all he's got. We're hoping we've had a drink already from the sink. We've got some food we can take with us. Because I want to scout out the area. Potentially this would be our first fallback base. We haven't got a can opener yet, so pretty pointless weighing ourselves down. Oh my god. I told you he had the luck of the Irish. We can take a couple of cans with us. Well, what have I got? I've got milk and radishes. So I tell you what, let's keep the cans in the cupboard. Because when we loot, hopefully, the surrounding area, we can come back and just store them. Water bottles are nice as well. We can store them in this kitchen until we decide we want to move on. Let's fill our water bottle. Now we carry this with us, and it will auto-drink when Perry is thirsty. What I was hoping for is some sort of kitchen implement. Oh, man. I mean, you could probably bash Zeds with a saucepan. It's not great. Saucepan or frying pan is better than fighting them with your bare hands, especially if there's one or two Zeds or three. If there is just one Zed, we can hopefully push them over, give them the business. Let's turn these lights off and let's rip this T-shirt into some rags which we can use as temporary bandages they're not disinfected but they're better than nothing we probably don't need six hopefully we'll find some real bandages upstairs i don't want to have to carry any books with me there is a bookshelf over here the tv's off nothing in this downstairs toilet i'm gonna put the tv on volume one and I'm going to put it on the Life and Living channel. You can get some boosts to your skills at certain times of the day. If you're around and you're listening to the right programs, you can get some XP boosts on your skill tree. So he's good with the axe. Long blunt, which isn't a saucepan. We need to get him a baseball bat or something like that. Metal pipe. Just for... We'll quickly check. That's good. First Aid Volume 1. Magazine and book will cure boredom if you read them. There is a cupboard under the stairs. I'm sort of hoping we can get something of use. We haven't even got a pen yet to mark our map off. We've got sheets, which is good. I'm going to weigh Perry down a little bit here. 
by carrying these sheets. A little bit heavy. It's good that we've got some storage under the stairs because what I want to do is put a sheet on the windows that I haven't got. Oh, don't open the door, bro. Not yet. See now, it, we're not. We've got curtains on those, but the zombies can see you through these windows. And if we're lurking around our bookcase or watching a bit of TV, reading a book, we don't want them peering in and giving us the business. So let's close. A bit of privacy for Perry. Let's close these off. And let's go and have a look upstairs. I'm staying in sneak mode because I don't want to bring in any zombies to our front door just yet. Also, it works on his sneaking. Let's add a sheet to this one. I'm not sure they could see in, I've got to be honest. But while we're carrying them, let's add them. And let's turn... We'll leave the light on upstairs for a sec. Just so you guys who are watching got a bit of extra visibility. But we'll turn this one off. There's nothing in this bedroom that we need. Need a pen. There you go. We'll take that downstairs. We'll take the magazines downstairs. Put them on our downstairs bookshelf. Same with all these. And with the pen, we can now use this little in-game map. It will only give you the areas where you've ventured out. Unless you find an actual map in the game. Which gives you a wider spectrum, if you like, of where you are. And let's put a little house symbol here of where we've started and what might be, and probably will be, Perry's first little base of operations. Okay, we've got a proper sink up here, double sink, close the curtains. What have we got? Bottle of disinfectant is nice. We can disinfect the rags now. We probably won't need any more sheets. An actual bandage is very nice. Not going to dye his hair yet, though. And the master bedroom... Anything in the in the wardrobe? An umbrella. Okay. Boxers, t-shirt, not great. I was hoping for a bag, gotta be honest. Let's use the disinfectant on the rip sheets. Well, three of them. I'm gonna put because we've got an actual bandage, we've got three stabilized rags and an actual bandage. I'm going to use the bathroom upstairs to store any surplus first aid. So these rag rip sheets that are... Oh, hang on. Yeah, put that there. Keep them under the, under the sink. This sheet, we can craft a sheet rope. When we have some nails and a hammer, we can make an escape rope from the upstairs bedroom so if, if we got overwhelmed for some reason we could then quickly get away via the escape rope but we need nails and a hammer first to be able to do that let's give him his first bite to eat let's eat a nice radish now we can get a second bottle if we want to because he's a, a thirsty boy we could get a, a second bottle by drinking the orange soda we won't do it yet we're going to creep downstairs and we're going to store the books on our bookshelf in our little living quarters. There you go. See, we've got booster carpentry because there's a carpentry program on at the moment. Don't know what time of day it is because we haven't found a watch. Let's put the book away. Um, all these, all these reading materials. Take the carry weight off. See, we've only got 14 at the moment because we haven't found a bag of any sorts. And we're going to get brave. Perry is going to go outside. He's taken his carpentry boost from the carpentry program. A bit of music on now for him. And let's pan out. And immediately, we've got a visitor over here. We've got a friend. And we've got another friend. We've got multiple friends. Now, Perry has got an early problem. He is a brawler, though. Like I said, I hope he can deal with these zombies quite well. Because he's a tough lad. Give him the sauce. <laughs> Give him the business, Perry. Sorry. 
Saucepan doing bits there. Uninvited guests. Turn my headphones down a little bit. You might need to do the same at certain points of the game for yourselves. Now, quick look around. We don't want a zombie creeping up on us while we're looting the bodies. First thing I'm looking for is a, is a watch. This guy's got 9 mil. There you go. Classic watch. We'll have a look. We'll take the pistol. Thought I just heard a zombie. It could be the other side of this tall fence where they haven't got a line of sight on me. Now, the jacket has got a hole in it, so I'm not going to bother taking that. Other zombie hasn't got anything for us, really. This one. Long gloves. I'll tell you what. Even though they've got a hole in them, I'm going to wear them because we've got no protection on our hands at the moment. So we're going to wear the beautiful long gloves. Looking good there. Perry. Has this dude got a better watch for us? No. We're going to have to wear the classic watch. Doesn't give us the date and it just gives us the time. But we can't be fussy. We're going to put that on. And we now know it's 10 past 1 in the afternoon. What I want to check, I don't think it's got an alarm this one. No, it hasn't. So we want to make sure no alarms are going to go off. And he is hungry. So I tell you what, we'll drink the soda. Give ourselves a second empty bottle that if we want to fill up with water, we can. Okay, we've already got more guests on the street. The neighborhood is popping. Now, if I creep in, in an ideal world, from my very minimum experience of this game, I'd like to catch one of them, get catch their attention. Okay, so the one, has this one on the pathway seen me? Yeah, coming through the bushes. All right, that's fine. It's better than them creeping up behind us later. Down you go. Couple of stomps. Nothing we want. Okay, this one's coming through. Spotted us from over the road. These two oblivious, which is great. Got possibly a baseball cap for us. Or we got the beanie on, haven't we? Keep the beanie for now. What's good is he's got a nice shove on him. He's managing to put these Zeds down. He's got that brawler attitude. See, they're still oblivious while this one comes in. There's a car over there on the left. Just spotted the bonnet of a car. Got all excited. Oh, two shoves for this dude. And I'm stamping on them because I don't want to... Oh, there you go. Digital watch. I'm stamping on them. I don't want to use this saucepan so it breaks. Swap watches with the zombie. We can tell now. It's the 9th of July because it's the, I think it's the Americanized version of the date. So month 1st, day 2nd, 9th of July. July the 9th. Here you go. See that? Just moved. Just moved close enough for that first zombie to get eyes on us. And we can take him one by one now. Go on, Perry. Give him the business. Straight down. Beautiful. Got a jacket. Still got a hole. Even with the hole in it, it's telling me that jacket's going to... Well, let me show it to you again. See there? Bite defense plus 10. Scratch defense plus 25. So we're going to put it on over what we've got. Might have to clean it up. It's not looking the best. <clears throat> I really want to go and investigate this car. Obviously, while we're there, the house. And maybe leave this zombie up here. That looks pretty pristine, that car, to me. Can you imagine we get a set of wheels? A possible escape vehicle. Straight off the rip. Also, what's in the trunk? You know, you, you could have something that could be used as a weapon. And this property... Oh, shit. Has also got a shed. Excuse my language. I just show, saw that we've got some guests in the garden. Got some friends. There's a guy inside. He looks like he might be a trooper or a policeman of some sort. So let's creep around the back. Barbecue. Nice. Could be used when the power goes. The power goes eventually in this game after two weeks. Something like that. 
you have to get your own generators or get your own barbies going there's a few zombies around this building this is risk and reward if we can pull this off we've got a shed maybe tools maybe a generator weapons whatever's in the house but we need to be isolating these zombies if we can picking them off one by one one down don't think any of the others heard us either let's just quickly check this alarm isn't set no it's not no nasty surprises let's try and get this one onto us I think there was one around the back of the shed as well here we go Harry's getting a little bit panicked even when there's only one zombie beta blockers can fix that oh glasses there we go. Gets rid of our short-sighted problem. I swear to God there was a zombie around the back here. We could be in trouble in a sec. Oh. Oh, there you go. Taking a rest. Sorry to disturb you, madam. The one's inside. I don't really want them breaking the windows, but... Oh, my God. Tough nut to crack, that one. Oh, there's another one. Don't want to get pinned against the fence. As long as there's only one, we're all right. I'm getting tired already, are you, Perry? Lumberjack, come on. All reading glasses. What I want to do... Shit, this is risky. I've seen people with thousands of hours of Zomboid doing this. Take advantage of the window. So when they climb out and they fall down, you whack them on the head. <laughs> Super risky if there's more than one zombie in here. I think there's only the guy on the on the the door, the front door. This, this, the, oh, I thought it was a trooper inside. Where's the trooper with the hat? There. Shit. I hope this one stays occupied by the door. No more? Just this one? I think Perry might have just pulled that off. Before I search the house... Oops. Hungry again. Well, it's hungry work, Perry. I want this shed. I want this shed looted. Peek through the window. Make sure there's no surprises waiting for us inside. No. I hope to God we can get this open without an alarm. I think sheds can be alarmed as well as houses. Damn it, we're going to have to smash the window. Remove the broken glass. I don't want to cut myself climbing through. Go on, Perry. Oh, a fishing book. Got to do better than that for me. Here we go. Bingo. Jackpot. A battered hammer. Okay. A rake and a shovel. A club hammer. Now we're talking. So, our saucepan can go. Our beanie hat, which is bloody, can go. The hard hat is being worn. For sure. I'm going to leave the glue in there, but I'm going to take the duct tape. Because with duct tape, you can usually um, fix up stuff. I'm actually going to leave the gun in the shed. We're not going to go on a pistol run. Maybe ever, but definitely not right away. Where's my club hammer? There it is. So if I, it's not broken at all, but when it becomes used, it'll show you an option to repair. And I hope I can repair it with duct tape like you can most other things. Oh, there's a good hammer as well. Unfortunately, no nails. There is a plank in here and some wood glue, but we've got no nails. But I tell you what, we'll take that as a win. 
The hard hat should give us protection. The club hammer will put zombies down, you'd hope. A lot better than a saucepan. Now I'm going to close the window behind me. I'm not going to bother closing the curtains because we're not staying here long. That's the plan. We're going to take anything of use until we're bogged down and can't carry any more of fear of really doing ourselves a, a disservice. Two holes in that jacket. Don't want it. Policeman didn't have much on him, did they? Let's have a look in the kitchen. Now, he's hungry. He's anxious because we haven't found any cigarettes or lighters yet. He's a thirsty guy, so let's fill that up. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Cigarettes, a battery, and matches. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Scripted. Plastic bag we can carry in our hands, and it gives us eight capacity. Doesn't sound like a lot, but I'll tell you what it is, and we're going to give him a smoke. Because our guy has had a stressful first couple of hours in the post-apocalyptic world of Muldra. Anything in the fridge? Re oh, there you go. A smoke and a beer. What can I say? Got a little bit tipsy there for a second. I thought you were uh, a lumberjack. Surely you should be able to... I'm taking the frying pan back to the house because we can actually do some cooking. Because look what we've got here. A load of frozen food we can transfer. Let me see if we've got anything else here that's really useful. We'll take the red pen. We'll make different different notes on the map, different colour. And I'm going to take the food. He's going to be weighed down now. So. Let's go like that. Let's start transferring some of this over to the carrier bag. Stuff that, you know, we'll keep the cigarettes on us to hand in our easily accessible personal inventory, if you like. Oh my god, is that it? That's all we can put in there, pretty much. So we got to be a bit choosy. Oh, look at that. Chicken freshly cooked. We'll slam that down us. Good timing, because he was peckish. Before we go and investigate upstairs, I can't hear any banging. I can't hear any zombies forming. I think there's a downstairs bathroom in this. Antibiotics? Damn right, we'll take them. Not much else. I was hoping for a bandage or two then, a legitimate bandage. Let's creep upstairs. Look at him. What a guy. I love him already. Kids room. Probably not going to be a lot for us here. Well, actually, there are a couple of books which could be very, very handy. It's going to weigh us down. There will come a point where we'll read these books. Probably before Beth Perry's going to go to sleep. He's already drowsy. It's been a rough day, though, haven't it, to be fair? It's been a tough first day. Can we find a backpack or something? In one of these cupboards upstairs? No. When we find... Oh. Baseball shirt, polo neck, sweater gives 10 scratch defense. So... Are we better off taking off the t-shirt? Where was the other one? I don't want him getting over overheated, say, by wearing too much. Put that on. Oh, my God. Electrician 1, tailoring, trapping. Mechanics, electrician 1 we've already got. Any tailoring or trapping? Nope. Take it, put it in your inventory over there. We're already overloaded. Upstairs bathroom. Oh my god. Pipe wrench is done. Still no meds. Shame. No bandages. Alright. We look clear here. Let's check this wardrobe. Oh, long gloves that are not 
not got any holes in them. Swap, yeah. See, that one's got a hole in it. This one, these ones haven't. We'll wear the long gloves. Why not? Close the umbrella. All right. Oh, bookshelf in the corner. Nearly missed it. Crossword magazine, word search. Okay. Nothing that we can learn from. He's getting really tired now. Look at that. Very tired. So we need to go home. And I hope to have a nice easy route. Because we don't want to be fighting in this overloaded, tired condition. This is open. Glove box. No key. Damn it. Got a friend. Let's see how many let's see how many stamps that took because our boy is tired. Come on, we haven't got far to go. Just let me get home. I should be creeping. But I almost want him to walk quicker, just just get there. Before we can get him to sleep, we've got a lot of organizing to do. Let's get in the door. Is there anything we want to leave under the stairs? So, books and stuff, we know they can go in the corner. Food in the fridge. We want to keep the meds on us. We want to keep the spare hammer as well. So there's nothing really, no tools to go there. Let's dump off our books and magazines. That will cure boredom. We'll start reading these and learning stuff, but not, not today because he's very tired. He's, he's had a rough first day, Perry. I want to get this um, food in the fridge before it goes off because we've still got power. No more books. No more magazines. No, we'll keep the spare battery on us. It's not very heavy. Let's get to the fridge. Bacon. Oh, I tell you what, he's got a potentially beautiful breakfast in the morning. We'll keep the milk fresh in the fridge. The veggies. Oh, hang on. I didn't check my carrier bag, idiot. Salmon and sausages. Whew. God damn. Still got the sterilized rags. So if I just go in here a second. Um, where's our canned food? I know we had a cupboard with food. There you go. We're going to put all the canned food in there, along with the dog food. I've left a cooking book and fishing book in this bag. We'll have to go back over. And we've got duct tape on us. Is that the only duct tape we've got? Let's put the spare hammer in the carrier bag, the battery and the bandage, the can opener, because we're keeping this on us, the pens, the sterilized rags. All right. Bandage. Battery. Let's just keep the battery in the cupboard. We know where it is with the food. Duct tape. We'll keep on us. Antibiotics. We'll put in. Oh, that's still in the bag. That's okay. Frying pan. We want in this cupboard. So we can do our cooking. Bacon, etc. Take some carry weight off us. Okay. Let's go and put them books away. I think we can put the club hammer on our belt can we yeah so it's hot hot bar to number two on the belt and from the bag we'll put fishing i wouldn't mind reading cooking first to be honest we haven't got a carpentry book yet have we these little ones like angler usa you can read them once and you'll get um, see look teaches a recipe make fishing rod fix fishing rod once you've read it make remote trigger add Crafted trigger. We're not going to really use stuff like that. But I picked it up anyway. Before we get any more tired. It's approaching 9pm. We're going to check these off as looted. Okay. And we're going to wash up. Because it's been. Literally. A bloody hard first day. For our boy. So if we look at his inventory. Of what he's wearing. 
The jacket is bloody. Well, everything else is okay. So we'll wash ourselves. Freshen up before bed. The, the bloody jacket needs washing as well. Keep a bit of pride about your uh, appearance, Perry. We could do with some scissors because I can see he's got a bit of a do go in here, haven't he? See? We might have to have a short back and sides soon on our boy Pezza. But with that, with that said, I think we can call this a wrap, part one, and an introduction to Perry Hankin and how he died in Muldra, 2024. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.